Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what's it called? I got an updated version of how to make I mean, how to make a item giver and stuff like that. Like you give like you know you might I don't know might get a gun, a knife, uh, a phone. It don't matter type shit. Food I don't know type shit. Um, but yeah, stuff like that. This is a video a video I made a long time ago where the script was just yes it works but it's just overly com complicated and it's just extremely simple now and stuff like that like at least how i see it this is just a basic way of just how to do it and stuff like that now obviously if you want to like put in measures of like like anti-abuse anti-cheat anti-explain stuff like that you might have to add in a few more stuff like a few more we'll say checkpoints to double check and verify stuff but this generally gets the job done with with an item giver. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so we're obviously gonna need an item to give, right? We can go ahead and insert a tool into server storage, right? We can go ahead and just type tool and we'll call this, well, actually we'll literally just call it tool. Yeah, literally, but we will uncheck requires handle as we're not actually gonna make, like, make a model for it and all that stuff, right? And then we will insert a part, right? We'll scale this part, you feel me? Because this will be our giver, you feel me? This will be our giver. Then just make it look, I guess, like a giver. I don't know. We'll call this giver. And we, will, of course, we will anchor it as always, right? So typically, the way givers work, they either use a proximity prompt or they use a click detector. I'm going to use a click detector for mine, right? So we'll say, what's it called? We will insert a server script into click detector, right? We will say giver script you could also have a script i would honestly recommend using a script and server script service and stuff so it could handle all of the givers like you would just fire a remote event and like it would just handle all of the givers and stuff Th that's how i would personally do it but for the sake of the video i'm just going to use a server script right so pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to do script dot parent the mouse button mouse, i mean sorry mouse click going connect function then plr which is the player who clicked short for player right and then we're gonna go up here, press enter twice, boom. Then we're gonna say local tool is equal to game dot server storage dot tool, right? Now make sure that you're using a server script if you have the tool located in server storage, as only server sided scripts can access the server storage, right? So then we're gonna make a. So then we're going to what's it called? We're gonna make a clone of said tool, right? Let's do local tool clone is equal to tool clone right then tool clone dot parent is equal to player dot backpack and boom that's how you do it right that's how you do it now with the way this currently is um if we if we keep clicking it'll keep giving us the tool over and over again um and in 99 percent of games usually they usually have a way to check if the player has it just in case that they don't give it and it's honestly pretty simple. So I'm gonna show you guys how to incorporate a method like that. So you can do if player, sorry, if the player dot backpack find first child. Make sure you use the specific tool's name. So tool, then come down here, put an end statement, right? I mean an end, right? So if player, if we find the tool in the backpack, or player dot backpack. I mean, sorry, not play the backpack or game that workspace find first child player that name. I know this is makes it a whole lot complicated. That I mean, not, not the backpack find first child tool. Now, obviously, I would recommend using a variable to get the, the player's character, but you could also do this too, even though it makes it a lot. Yeah, you know, we'll just use a variable. It makes things a lot easier. Like it just because it just looks confusing to some people. I know it just confuse some people if they saw it like this. So we'll just do it like that. All right. So now we turn it into a variable, and then uh, we can go ahead and delete this, and we'll do character find first child. Right. So pretty much, if they find this, this will happen. Right. So what we'll do is else. Right. I would recommend using an else if, like else if not, you feel me? So pretty much if they find the tool, then we'll say print player has tool or player has tool already, right? We can go ahead and test this, this should work. 
emphasis on the should. I hope it does work. If it doesn't, we will figure it out. But anyway, okay. So as you guys if I go over here, we'll have the tool and boom, player has tool already. There we go. So yeah, that's how you make a giver. Definitely easier way. Uh, much updated version and stuff like that. Hope the video was helpful. Uh, if it was, leave a like and subscribe. Links to general Roblox in Discord can be found in the description. I appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see you guys.